Welcome to SmackDown! I am Trey Edgewater, a.k.a. Warrior Edge, General Manager of NXT, and I'm with the host of SmackDown, the man with the man himself, Mr. Y2J Bacon XD, and we are live in North Carolina. Hey, uh... Did I say North Carolina? I think we're in North Carolina. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? What is this? What is Batista coming out for? Batista's got some words. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, back in the last pay per view, Money in the Bank, he won the uh, WWE Championship against Edge. When's Edge getting his rematch? To be honest, you know, what? I'll tell you guys. I will tell you guys. I'm I'm sure you guys know about the two wild cards. There's gonna be two wild cards for both the men's and women's elimination chamber match, and I will guarantee you Edge is one of those. Because uh, he is guaranteed a title shot. So does that mean Batista and Edge start in the chamber? It's going to be completely random. I, I am also oh, Edge is not, getting his rematch against anybody. Ju just about. He has to earn it. He has to earn it. What if he eliminates Batista in the first five minutes of the match? <laughs> just well, like Jeff Hardy beat Edge in the first five minutes of the match in No Way Out 2009. That would be that would be insane, and that would mean it's it's anyone's game because Batista because Batista's the champion. He can't defend if he's not there. He instantly loses it. Well, I mean, of course. I mean, I mean, he wouldn't lose it automatically. He would have to get eliminated first. Yeah, eliminated. Yeah. If he, about, if, he, if he got eliminated, eliminated, then we're guaranteed a new WWE yeah, champion. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm at. When you, yeah. Um, SmackDown's brought to you by Truth. Finish it. Yeah. Say no to drugs. Yeah, th this isn't sponsored by any of this. We, we've gone through this for like almost two months now. Almost two months. What, what does the animal have to say? Let's find out. Interesting way to start the show. Him and Edge, as we've already gone over, had, had a rivalry the past three weeks. Yeah. The Baron Hard Truck League in real life they've had a rivalry. 2007. Yes. Vengeance, Night of Champions. Last chance match. Hey now, you don't have to be like that. I can really say anything, and this is your reaction already? I get it. I've done some bad things in the past. Some may even say vicious things. I'm not actually of a bad guy if you get to know me. Says Drax himself. <laughs> yeah. I've been doing things my way since the day I got here. And my way, I admit, worked. For a time now, I'm looking back and realize that every single accomplishment, every single win, is tainted. Ooh. Ooh. He didn't earn that WWE Championship? He earned it, but... He maybe, said it was tainted. Maybe He felt way. it. He felt it was tainted. I've heard plenty of booze from the WWE Universe. I've had my fill. What I'd really like now is to work for your cheers. I may have never been the guy that all the kids look up to, the one who makes even the grandma smile, but I can do better with your support, and it starts to- Grandma! 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 <laughs> grandma! I want to try to be your friend, your hero, someone you can all look up to. When you see me, I want you to imagine a montage of our future together. You and me building sand castles, swinging on swings, go, doing all the best way you can. No, too much. What is Batista? Did Batista smoke something before it came out here? <laughs> I don't even know. Oh my god, this last choice though. <laughs> if you guys are willing to support me, we can change the WWE Universe together. We can rule the WWE Universe like Superstar and people who watch that superstar. Let me work on that. Anyways, let's make the WWE great again. Then we'll smack that up <laughs> great.
Just saying, what he said right now really reminded me of Trump's uh, campaign slogan. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Here's the difference between you and me, though. You didn't want Trump to win. Eh, yeah. I, I still have to go. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. He hasn't put this country into ruin yet. Uh, he's slowly getting there. Slowly getting there, but it hasn't reached that point. He's still got three years to prove himself. He's slowly getting there. He's got three years to prove himself. Alright, That um, means in three years we're either gonna be a, a living utopia, or we're gonna be hell. My bet's on hell. It would be. Alright, here's, uh... The former WWE Champion. The uh, Rated R Superstar. Edge in a, uh... Falls count anywhere match against the, the Shelton. debuting Shelton Benjamin. Yeah. So you are the land of opportunity. Oh, oh I was gonna you know, laugh. Uh, we this is the week where we do these. Nah, I'm not. Doing it. Okay, I'm doing it then. All right. All right, I won't do this one. All right. I'm just saying. Blank computers do is is my thing for my show. You, you do the yeah you you yeah, I'm thing. gonna I'm gonna control my guys from now on on your show, right. so I'm gonna put Whoa, my wait, money on what? some people. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, I'm not I don't always win, so can't say it's rigged. Mm. I win most of the time, but you can't mm. say it's rigged. Mm. I could still lose. There's times where I've lost, <sighs> like that William Bank ladder match and Jimmy Uso. <laughs> Nobody was expecting that. Nobody was expecting that. <laughs> Speaking of uh, tag team champions, you missed last week's episode of NXT. We had an eight-man tag team match for the NXT championships. You guys should go check that out over on my channel. You know what? I, I changed it. Uh, right now. All right, go right ahead. Go right ahead. <laughs> This contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is Falls Town Anywhere. Introducing first, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing 245 pounds, the rated R Superstar, Edge! Edge has his game face on tonight, and always has his game face on. Seen it not knocked off his face countless times before. Well, tonight not be one of those nights. Hopefully not. I want to see Edge win back for his his WWE Championship. To be honest, I would be rather impressed if he actually does. I mean, he, he has a long way ahead of him. He's going to be facing off against Batista. Um. Uh, his opponent from Orangeburg, South Carolina, weighing 248 pounds, the gold standard, Shelton Benjamin. I really can't wait till his music's out in the back of the game. Yeah, because this one, what's this? The default music? Oh, He's yeah. a custom character. Yeah, that's true. Of course, Shelton Benjamin was signed at the very end of the draft. That's a video we still haven't uploaded yet. The SmackDown roster. Yeah, I'm just pacing on the. I just pacing on the outside of the ring. I'll be honest right now. The way the way his face is designed, I get question why. It's probably a copy. Probably it would not surprise his face here. Uh, here we go. Rated R Superstar versus the Gold Standard. Both are former champions in the WWE. Yes. Shelton Benjamin, a former tag team champion and intercontinental champion, as well as United States champion. Edge, all of the above, as well as WWE champion and world champion. Edge started off pretty strong here tonight. Uh, Let's find Shelton Benjamin over in the uh, top rope. But disappointingly for him, 
another power slam. There's your favorite move. Of course. Uh, the snap there. Yeah. No, my mother hates Shelton. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. She just doesn't like it. I've been waiting for Shelton's return to SmackDown for years. And then last year was so disappointing. Spinning heel kick from him. It was yeah. so disappointing because he got that rotator cuff injury. So he had to get surgery. Oh. Put him out of action for a year. Oh, Benjamin. Benjamin. Outspeeds Edge there. Yeah. Edge is going to roll. Try to take a breather. I'm just going to try. What the? Another spinning heel kick. Walking power slam. Knee to the back. I'm just going to take a five second pose here. For the benefit of those who flash photography. This, this match is an all edge. Shelton's got to get back into this. Yes, he does. He does. Notice, no, notice Edge is just toying with Benjamin. That is true. Benjamin. Fisherman Super. I don't think I was a fisherman Super. Where's Benjamin going? What the hell is he doing? He's got a baseball bat. Remember, falls not anywhere. No disqualifications. Baseball bat off the forehead of Edge. Now, for a second, I forgot this is falls down anywhere. Like, obviously, Sean Benjamin didn't forget. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, I think no. he may have just ticked off the rated R superstar. He's tearing up our announce table over here. Well let's let's be glad we're not down there. Not feel bad for uh those actual announcers who aren't saying anything. Um, well, that's our British team. I, I mean our Spanish team. Yeah, funny. You ever it's notice like, that, that freaking um DDT? Byron Saxon has a huge bald spot on his head. Really? Can't see it? Oh, yeah, I can see it now. Yeah. Here's the joke. Byron Saxon's bald. And Benjamin, belly to belly! Ooh. Benjamin's coming back on, against Edge here. Um, Edge does not have the best record in Falls Count Anywhere matches. Yeah, he does not. He got lucky against Batista. Spear! About a month ago. Oh, it looks Spear to the outside play. of the ring. Yeah. From out of nowhere. Did you see SmackDown this past Tuesday? I actually didn't. Randy Orton came up out of nowhere and hit Kevin Owens with the RKO out of nowhere. <laughs> oh. He's not going to go for the pin. Wait, what is. Wait, he's going after the referee. Why is that? Oh. Oh. He's got a sledgehammer now. He missed. That didn't miss him. And he takes the referee down with him. What the hell is he doing? Anything he damn near wants to. <laughs> this is Edge. He's going to stop the rated R Super Bowl. You want to try to stop him? By all means, go ahead. I'm not getting involved. I'd like to keep I, I like to keep my body intact. He's got the steel steps now. Spinning heel kick. That feels me, I could totally stop him. What? You're a pacifist! What do you mean you can totally stop him? Well, I'm the one who's running this show right now, and I can stop him if I want to. What are you gonna do? Call the cops on him? No. Get him escorted out of your building. No, 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 no. Suspend him indefinitely without pay. Oh no, no, no. no. The best way possible. Set a match while he knocks him sent into his thick head. Edge. Uh -oh. He's getting right. Spear! And another replay. Benjamin is. Is Edge sending a message to his five Elimination Chamber opponents? 
so far, we actually have, um, we have Batista, the WWE w Champion, Edge, uh, Edge, and our Cesaro. Well, Tarkin, Cesaro. Tonight, we're going to find out who's going to join them. Will it be Kevin Nash, or will it be Victor? And, uh-oh, Gut Buster. How's, how's this? Well, is it possible to at least make the uh, qualifiers computer controlled so it's sure. random? Yeah. Because, whoa! I feel like it'd be some kind of weird. Oh, he's gonna go for another spear! And it lands! That's and three spears so far! And three replays! Four replays. I know the six replays. Because the computer thing was before. Okay, yeah, yeah, but three times it it started playing during the match. I will I will say Ed Ed was totally impressing me. Benjamin more than white suplex. Ooh. Did Benjamin actually come back? Showboating is probably not the best thing for him to be doing. Oh! Edge saw Ed. that one coming. Ooh, that haymaker! Wait, is Edge trying to? Oh, he's bringing the chair in here. What the hell? Did you just see that? Oh yeah, I saw that. that. I would say 2K fix your game for this one, but that was actually funny. Ooh, chair to the gut. Ouch. Edge is being relentless. He is. I think that's like way more than enough. Whoa, Benjamin Whoa. kicked to the knee! Edge bring another chair in. Same chair he had before. Oh. Oh, I must have got all the ring gun, I guess. Yeah, Benjamin kicked him in the knee. Alright. Edge dragging Benjamin back to the center of the ring. Yeah, well, I was wondering, how do you drag... Uh... Oh, both? Both fuckers? Alright, alright. Good to know. You can actually throw the weapons at your opponent, too. Yeah, how do you do that? Just aim and oh, aim and B. All right. Oh. Oh, oh, Benjamin. Oh. oh. Edge took the handle there. Oh, Benjamin's barely hanging on. He dropped down just in time, and oh, yeah. Right, that chair. I think that chair's gone. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, the chair looks like it's. It looks room. like it's gone, but it's yeah. not gone. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's... Yeah. It's one of those fun kitchens. Oh! Oh! Right on the steel steps! Edge counters! And another spear! And another replay! This is all Edge tonight. Edge sending a message to the Illumination Chamber of Comics. We gotta believe that. What, is it going to be one spear for every, uh, opponent? That's what it seems like. Well, so far, it's four. He's missing one more. It's actually he's too bad. Oh, oh, the... Uh. Oh no. I have oh, a feeling I know no. what's happening. What's gonna happen. Oh no. Oh no. No. No, no, no. Good chair! What the? Okay. Take two. Good chair, Tahoe! Or not. What the hell is going on here? Third time's a charm. Go! Benjamin up! What the? What the? Okay, now, okay, now you can say your uh, 2K picture game, please. 
Fix your game, please. Also, I'd love to know when the next DLC is coming out. So would I. NXT's got a tag team revival. And the show's I... gonna get more competition. Perhaps the women's division is gonna get a revamp here. Oh, maybe. And he's bleeding. I was wondering when someone was going to bleed. Oh, right on top of the. Oh. He's gonna try this again. He's gonna try this again. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully a glitch can screw him over. I guess it did. Okay, fix your game. <laughs> fix your game. <laughs> fix your freaking game, please, because this is not how it's supposed to work. Definitely but not. <laughs> oh! oh. You caught it. Lucky. Snapmare takeover. Benjamin gonna get a try key lock. Oh! Oh! Edge fighting back. The Irish whip him into the corner. DDT! I'm still wondering where he's going to bring out that last spear and end this. Oh! Chair to the gut again. Oh, oh, I guess if the concerto doesn't work, the first you don't succeed, try, try again? A different way? Oh, no, maybe the Irish went into uh, that chair on the other side. There we go. Let me see if Edge has this. He does. Well, Steve, yeah, I have a feeling he has that. Here's that last spear. Painter! Whoa! Okay, I, I have a feeling that one might have been, uh... That one was a perfect. <laughs> yeah. Like, he has no reason to quarrel against uh, Shelton Benjamin here. I'm assuming that special one was probably for Batista for taking his title. Maybe. Spear to the floor! Unalleged and this assault. Who knows? This is pure punishment. It is. And it's poor Benjamin's fault. Why Why are you allowing Edge to get away with this? You can stop this match at any time. And you're going to let Edge viciously beat this man. Uh, well, I don't allow him to send, send a message. This is just overkill. All right, all right. You know what? Stop the match. Stop the match. Just stop the match. There's that last spear. And Edge going for the count. And... What? Is that done? Apparently not. Alright, stop the match. Just, just stop it. Stop it. Oh, wait! Oh! Benjamin! He's fighting back! Shown doesn't want this match to stop. Benjamin said, I still got fight in me. Where is he going, though? Hey. What? He, he ran all the way back there, and now he's going all... What, what is he doing? He's taking this backstage. <laughs> hey, you said it was a false count anywhere, match. Alright then. <laughs> Alright then. Why did you put this poor kid in a false count anywhere match? With a lunatic? I don't know. I thought it was a good idea at the time. I mean, look at last week. I, I set up a false count anywhere match last week, and nothing happened outside the ring. Uh, it kind of did. Ooh, look at that drop! It. Where's Edge going? Where is Edge going? Is that AJ? St what is the NXT champion doing here? Why is the NXT champion here on SmackDown? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I've actually been talking to him. Um, about what? He ain't coming to here. 
Oh, well, um, what'd you do? Warm about Jimmy Uso? Oh, oh, um, no, 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 no. I didn't warn him about, I didn't warn him about anything. You were just talking about some stuff. Oh! Edge okay. took out a kendo stick from the back of that car. <laughs> okay, frame rate has exponentially dropped in the parking lot. <laughs> in the parking lot! <laughs> Where there's probably the least amount of assets compared to LFC <laughs> on stage. 2K seriously fix you. Or at least fix the swinger! Oh. Hey, bada, bada, hey, bada, bada, swing! Yes, yeah, so I was expecting a spear into that chest, but whatever. I guess yeah. there's nothing else in that back of that car. You know, I'm curious, uh... Well, wait, what? Knees! Oh! Oh! Okay, just, just just stop the match. Just stop the match. What what is he doing? Wait, what? Ooh. Okay, just just stop the match. Oh. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just end this match already, please. Execution to the concrete floor in the parking lot. You know what? As it next week, I will deal with Edge myself. <laughs> Whoa! Yes. What does that mean? You will see what I mean, and I mean business. Th this is unacceptable. Unacceptable behavior. Yeah. Hey, we got. Yeah. You, at least you got some money back there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A certain somebody needs to chill out back there. <laughs> Edge. You don't think that's overkill? Especially if it's somebody... Well, I mean, he's right outside the security office. I mean, for the record, they're not doing anything. Like, what the hell are these guys doing? <laughs> Whoa. Edge that's... just sidestepped Benjamin. Yeah, like, literally. What are these security guards doing? They need to stop this. And he no no sold that. Just end the match already. <laughs> what the hell does he think he's doing? <laughs> he's scaling that structure for some reason. Get down, you are not a freaking monkey. <laughs> Get down. Get down. This is overkill. Why are you even climbing up there at the at this point? <laughs> Your opponent is right there, for one, and two, yeah, yeah. Can you just end this match, please? <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, that, that's good. Crossbody. That's good. Can you do, can you just hit, pin him, please? <laughs> pin him. Why are you on the car? I mean... I'm be glad that's not my car, because my car would not be a piece of shit like that. Speaking of cars, I saw a, uh, what do you call it today? Hmm. A Camaro. Nice. Now no, that, no, that's a good car. Very low to the ground, man. <clears throat> Ouch. I'm surprised the windows didn't break. Okay. Benjamin gonna drag edge now. Ooh, a little payback. You blame Benjamin for not wanting this match to end? Pay dirt! He hit the oh pay dirt! Oh my god! Is he actually. He's going for it! He's going for it! One! And. Edge, Edge kicks out at one. Yeah. He, he, he was close. He, that comeback. At least they're now on even ground. Oh no. Oh man. He's totally giving him Edge a, oh a little god. payback. Taste of his own medicine. Here's what's gonna happen though. If Edge loses this match, I I I will deal with him myself tonight. No, not tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. So he gets off for six days. Yeah, because I have something in mind for him. Don't worry. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. <coughs> Ugh! <gasps> 
Edge intercepted him. Oh, right into a limo. Okay, finish this or, or else your uh, title shot is revoked. <laughs> I don't think Edge cares. He's got another baseball bat. <laughs> Who's in charge of putting weapons in the uh... self-defense? Oh, you call this self-defense? It's more like violation. <laughs> another spear. <laughs> I think Edge has a, a plan. <laughs> Just end this match. There are other matches going on tonight. I mean, please. <laughs> like, end this? Isn't there an Elimination Chamber qualifying match coming up next? Um, I think so. Benjamin, going to try that card again, it looks like. I think so. It's Kevin Nash versus, um... Actually, it's the NWO Wolfpack versus the Ascension. Okay, yeah, yeah. I wasn't going to reveal that until... <laughs> I saw the match part. Yeah, I was not going to reveal that until, like, when we were getting to that match. <laughs> oh, you know now. Alright, I'll, I'll explain more after this ends. When this ends... <laughs> Super kick! Okay, please, finish this. <laughs> finish this. Finish this. Oh, Benjamin, go for a key oh, lock! Oh, oh, my God. Yes, he's... <laughs> And Edge taps out! <laughs> that was a brutal premiere for Shell. Brutal debut for Shell and Benjamin, but he actually won it. Five-star match. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here is your winner as a result of a submission. Oh my Shelton God. Benjamin! Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> hey, at least the match stopped, so Edge's match isn't revoked now. Alright. But he still has to do it. Oh, we got a European champion? Wait, Whoa. wait, European champion? Yeah, oh, um, yeah, here's the story behind this, obviously. Story behind this. It's obvious that Cena lost against Andre the Giant in a fatal four way match in, um, Cena number one. He lost the US title, though, against Andre the Giant in a in a fatal four-way match with the British Bulldog and, uh... Oh, yeah, Mr. Perfect. Which was basically... I think it was a rematch minus one person in February from the first episode. Yeah, minus Xavier Woods. Um... But, yeah. Ever since Andre won the title, it was changed to the European Championship. Now we have... Well, how would we ever know? He hasn't been on TV. Yeah, true, 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 but yeah. Well, I'm sorry to make short. I, I'm obviously giving Cena his rematch clause immediately. So if Cena wins this, does that mean we go back to the US title again? Yes. Okay, yes, that, that's obvious. That's obvious. I mean. This bout is scheduled for one fall. And it is for the European Championship! And they can his way to the ring from West Newbury, Massachusetts, the challenger, John! Cena! John Cena, sir! John Cena, sir! I, I, I want to start. I want to get that. At least one. Just one. Two or quite as well. Cena wants the title back. Yes, he does. 
but he's got to go through a 74 inch monster. That, that does not stop him in the past. That has definitely not stopped him in the past. He has proved more than once that size does not matter. He will take down anyone. I mean, not wit. He's, he's half, he's half Slugger's wit. Yeah. Oh. Reminder, he has beaten the great Kali, who's probably the same height as Andre. Andre's one of the tall. That's why I said probably. And introducing his opponent from Grenoble, France, coming in at over seven foot one inch tall. He is the new WWE European Champion, Andre the Giant. Want to explain to me how they got a belt to fit around him? Well, you can see from the back there, there's multiple buttons. Uh, so, one size fits all, I guess. In reality, that's not the case, but... Yeah, yeah, we're just going with this logic for now. But in reality, I'm sure they had this belt custom suited for him. Oh. You didn't, you didn't, all you did was approve that you didn't actually order it for him. I approved I, I it. Get an order mm -hmm. uh, Yeah, I did actually. I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. Skip. Skip. There we go. The match will start. She knocked right out of the box. <laughs> Can't even take Andre down. This is expected from. <laughs> Headbutt. Ooh. Cena's getting destroyed out here. Oh! Cena's literally getting utterly beaten, destroyed, Elbow. battered. It's, it's disappointing. Let's go, Cena! And Cena countered! Speeding up the energy of the WWE Universe. Yes, he is. Close line. Question is, when will he ever see Super Cena? Actually, wait, I'm wondering that myself. You know what? Oh, actually, you know what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, well, hopefully, you see that eventually. Seven, oh. eleven, ten hits. Look at the size of Andre the Giant compared to John Cena. He's just he's one arming him. <laughs> he is. To be honest, I would be surprised if he could pull off an STF on. Uh, Ow! No. How was that legal? He just stepped on his face. Two handed choke slam. Oh. Would you get in the ring with Andre? Probably not. I mean, it's bad enough I'm ballsy enough where I said I'd actually go in the ring with Edge. Well, not in real life, of course. I'll say about here, but yeah. No. Cena comes out at one. And I'm surprised Cena is actually even kicked out, considering the beating he's getting right now. That's his favorite movie, though. Yeah. This time mm -hmm. from a different world. Oh! oh! Oh. That had to crush Cena's rib cage. Ah. That was walking on top of him. Oh, God. I would get in the ring with him. I would never get in the ring with him. Yeah. I'd rather, you know, get thrown into <laughs> cars. Yeah, yeah, throw yeah. Throw it on the floor, get hit in the head with a baseball bat, well, kendo stick, well, chairs. At least Cena has a playing chance. Fighting chance? A section with all Andre! <laughs> a small fighting chance! It, it's better than nothing! Oh no! Ooh! Military press line. That's it. Andre had second thoughts. Oh man. It's gotta be. One, two, 
Cena kicks out at two. I am surprised. I am surprised. This, this is just brutality. Cena is resilient. This is brutality right Andre's now. like, what do I have to do to put him down? I mean... I am already seven foot one inches tall. I mean, he's... he's He's dealing with John Cena. He's dealt with impossible odds. Elbow drop. And ouch. Pin. One, One two. two. Cena kicks out at two again. Oh. Cena. He, he, he is surprising us right now. He, he's. Oh. Did you hear about Dwayne The Rock Johnson this past Tuesday? Oh, besides the movie. Yeah, besides that. You can't see me. Oh. He actually knocked out Andre. The Rock's getting a Hollywood star of fame. Oh, really? Yes. Nice. He deserves he it. it on the 13th. He, he deserves he it. He does deserve it. Cena, oh. little five-knuckle shuffle. You, you can't, can't see me. me. Five-knuckle shuffle. Wash it off. Oh. What? There's no way Cena's going to hit the AA. There's Wait. no way. Is, is he Andre's over 520 pounds. Way to do it. Oh my god, he... Oh my god! Oh my god! One! Two! And the champion kicks out at two! Oh my god, Cena with that amazing comeback! Oh my god! Who's your money on here? Oh man. Uh, it's, Cena probably wasn't a smart idea to do that. It, it, it doesn't matter. This is just... This is just great. This is what I was expecting. Andre's just manhandling. <laughs> yeah. Now, how many times yeah. have you heard that before? Somebody manhandling. Face much. to the knee. Not much. There's only three guys I can ever remember somebody saying he was manhandling. Against Brock Lesnar, Big oh. Show, and a great colleague. Cena counters. Oh. Andre ducks. Andre, another backbreaker. Oh. Gonna try it one more pin. It was the Elbow last drop. One. Pin. It was the last one. One, one two, two, three. Here is your winner and still European champion, Andre the Giant. That's not even a highlight back to that one. See you know? oh. Cena got Andre's respect. Yes. Cena's the bigger man here. Showing Andre respect he deserves. Yes. Yes. And Andre's showing respect for his opponent. What we got coming up next? Here. Here is actually the... Um, the Elimination Chamber qualifier that we that he spoiled earlier. I didn't spoil it completely. Yeah, I didn't spoil it completely, but listen. Here, here's what happened. When we were messing around with this, we we noticed that this was set up as a tag match. Instead of taking I decided, you know what, instead of taking the time to change this up, I decided and you know what? Screw it. Um instead of um Making it one, a one-on-one -on -one match, I said it's going to be a tag match. Here's what's going to happen, though. Obviously, the tag partner is going to represent uh, the two uh, contenders who are trying to fight for their shot in the Elimination Chamber. Whichever team wins, their representative goes to the Elimination Chamber. How does that work for the other person? Just out of curiosity. My curiosity? They're just gonna be supportive. That's all I gotta say. They'll, they'll so they're not gonna be jealous that their partner won the title. Just like Jay just like Jay's not gonna be, you know, a little salty that his brother's Mr. Money in the bank. Probably not. That's kinda of dumb. Nah. Talk to the people. Alright, alright, alright. Um, alright, what should I talk about? Uh, well, tonight's main event. Oh, yeah, main event. I I'm keeping that a secret. I'm 
until we get there. I mean, it's not like you haven't already put in a, a little uh, code for yes, this. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, in last week's SmackDown, this goofball decided he was going to put in a, a little code for you guys to solve. So if you figured it out, you would know what tonight's main event is. Yes. Alright, um... Don't worry about my thoughts about this match, uh... Personal thoughts, I, I think... I think the Wolfpack's going to win this. Why is that? I mean, for one... Because they trumped them by over... 90 pounds? No, uh, that's probably one. Another reason because, oh hey... The uh, Wolfpack's undefeated? Yeah, just, just the power. I think Even the Sting's undefeated. Yeah. This... Is an elimination chamber qualifying match scheduled for one fall? Now in this match, the winning representative for their team will advance to the elimination chamber. Introducing first, representing the New World Order, Wolfpack, the team of Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. Well, uh, it'll happen one of these days. The wolf pack comes in at over 575 pounds. Maybe the wolf has to get a shot at the uh, tag champ too. Hey, that's, that's actually possible, but if I remember correctly, I'm assuming they probably have to beat with uh, DX. I mean, they, they, you mean their best friends? They got their asses handed to them even after the match ended. And introducing their opponent. Representing the Ascension, the team of Connor, the Victor! Alright, of course, Victor being the one representing his team. Yeah. These guys are joking. They got beat tag champs themselves. Yeah, they do. I mean, alright, alright, we'll go one back. For a few weeks when we're doing this. If you haven't missed it, check them out on his channel. Yeah. So four two three. Yeah. When we were set before we recorded, we were saying up we were saying matches up because we would consistently get deception against the Uso, which was boring. Oh uh, more like repetitive. It was repetitive uh, and boring. Yeah, yeah. The Ascension are boring. Now now Big Daddy, cool and and the bad guy, that's a different story. Connor gonna start it off for his team. And Big Sexy goes over the top. Oh, man. Don't tear a quad now, Kev. <laughs> Still gonna bring that up, huh? it's, it's Kevin Nash's fault that Triple H, that Shawn Michaels' is, uh, inclusion into the NW all was even a thing. See, the NWO thing in 2003 was supposed to go a lot longer than what it did. Really? Because, was it 2000? I don't even think it was 2003. I don't even know when it was. I'm assuming it was 2003. Maybe it was 2002. I have no idea. All I know is, Shawn Michaels was revealed as the... Shawn Michaels was revealed as the new member of the NWO, despite the fact he wasn't on the roster. And because Kev, he was, it was supposed to be a whole big thing for Sean's return, but then Kevin Nash ended up tearing a quad. Scott Hall got fired, 
And it went downhill from there. Yeah. So Sean came back a different way. It had to be 2002. All right. Because Sean Michaels won the Elimination Chamber in 2002 in the very first Elimination Chamber match. Ooh. Where he won the World Heavyweight Championship, defeating the likes of Rob Van Dam, Kane, Chris Jericho, Booker T, and his own tag team partner, The Game, Triple H. Okay. Of course, if you haven't seen the, any of the uh, first, or any of the Elimination Chambers up to 2010, 2011. I don't know. There's a uh, there's actually a DVD WWE put out called the, the Elimination Chamber Oh, Yeah. Satan's not Satan. Something's prison. Something like that. All right, Victor's out here taking out his um trying to make opponent. Kevin take a quad out. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Nash gets the hot tag. Here comes the bad guy. The medium-sized man. With Victor not taking it too lightly. Of course, we got the Illuminati on his side. Yes, yes. Yes, he, he has the power of God in anime by his side, folks. God in anime. You heard me right here, folks. God in anime. <laughs> the Illuminati is on his side here today. Ooh. You know who he might need later? Or Nation. Oh, fine. Maybe that was his car that Edge was using. Probably. Close line over the top. Where might have been AJ's car? I mean, he was there. AJ came in that room. Nah, 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 nah. He gets the VIP treatment over here on Smack. Oh, nah, nah. He's probably, he probably filming for a special. Maybe, maybe. Um. What happens if both men get both teams get counted out? Does that mean you gotta have another qualifier? Or do both men qualify? Oh, if both men qualify, then what the heck's even the point for the second wild card? One, two. I mean, you did say. Two. Well, I mean, you haven't revealed who said wild card was yet, so maybe they would get the second wild card. Hmm. You gotta take into consideration this match could end on a draw. If it does end on a draw, ow! I, I am not going to. I am not going to schedule another qualifier match next week. Besides, the besides the other two that are already there. Next week's I, I, elimination I, chamber. Next Sunday. Yeah, but before that, there's the last set of elimination chamber qualifiers. Yes. Well, if this right. if this match ends on a draw, who's gonna be that sixth guy in the chamber? Or the fifth and sixth guy in the chamber? I'm having them restart. Oh! The match. Oh! Well, that's it. Oh. Kevin Nash saying no, I'm gonna win this. Connor was gonna win it for his team. Kev, don't turn quad. Connor's prepared to end this. The fall of man was not able to put Scott Hall down. Now he's just beating Scott Hall down to a pulp. Sad. WWE Hall of Famer getting beat by a loser. Oh. Is, is that a choke T.O.? I think. That's not even a fake. Clapjack! It is now. I'm gonna work them oh. over. Another vintage tag team maneuver. Are they going to do it again? The fall of man! The fall of man! Victor gonna go for the pin! One, two, and Big Sexy for the game! Here are your winners! The team of Connor and the Elimination Chamber qualifier, Victor! Looks like luck was on their side tonight. Luck was literally on their side tonight. So it took two balls of man and, and Kevin Nash might have just scored a quad on his hand. <laughs> oh 
Probably, probably. Here's that last fall of man. Like that. There it is, one more angle. Yeah. Kevin Nash failed horribly. Failed horribly to save his partner in time. Like, like he had only one job. Like, watch this right now. What? How does one miss that? I don't know. Regardless, Victor's, Victor's going chamber. to the chamber. Victor's going to the chamber, folks. Guess the Illuminati was on his side. Yes, the Illuminati. Looking over. <laughs> yes. Like Connor is right now. Yeah. Yeah, Connor's glad for his buddy. You know what this reminds me of? What? Fort. Fort Victor. Oh yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Is this Ste is that Stephanie McMahon? Yes it is. Why? I thought I'd actually give her a minimal warm up before her her match next week. She's got a match next week? Yeah! Yes. What did she do? Buy her way into a qualifier? Funny enough? No. RNG. RNG was on, on her side, apparently. Because, listen. Did, did she give you some special favors? I wouldn't take that either. I, <laughs> I, I wouldn't want to touch that with Frank Pole. You're a mean one. <laughs> Mr. Grinch. <laughs> I still haven't heard at all yeah, this heard. year on the radio. This is a triple threat match. Introducing first from Greenwich, Connecticut. She is one of the principal owners of World Wrestling Entertainment, Stephanie McMahon! Yeah, this is actually her debut on Stephanie. I don't think Stephanie's ever lost the match. She did, yeah, she was off like this. It wasn't her fault. Well then. Stephanie is a former women's champion. She's also a former general manager of SmackDown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's also a former general manager of Raw. Yeah, she's been around the company. Oh, she's been around a lot. I don't need it like that. Fun fact, me and Billy K show. Yeah. June 23rd. I'm trying to think. I Introducing her opponents first. From Sydney, Australia. She is one half of the iconic duo, Billy K. You know, every kiss begins. But are you going to go to K or are you going to go... That, that's a trick question here. I, I mean, I mean, not. if you went with Jared, then you'd be in prison. That's how I rule the trick question. <laughs> <laughs> you want to explain that reference? Yeah, Jared. Um, yeah, uh, the subway guy. Jared, subway. Uh, five dollar footlong. Legitimate. <laughs> Yeah, that was exactly why I mentioned $5. Billy King seems to be lost without Peyton Royce, best friend. Who, by the way, is over on NXT? Who knows? Maybe one of these days, uh, certain tag teams will actually reunite. Maybe. I, all right, I will tell you this right now. She's obviously guaranteed. Introducing their, their opponent from Osaka, Japan, 
the Empress of Tomorrow and the number one contender for the SmackDown Women's Championship, Asuka! Alright, Scrap, telling you this right now. Um, yeah, Asuka's, um, you already revealed one yeah. wild card, you might as well reveal the other one. Yeah, she's actually a given because she's number one contender. Has for the head. Yes. But technically the only, speaking. Yeah, the only difference is that the, the system doesn't reflect Edge as number one contender. That's yeah, it. yeah. But we yeah. we see him as number one contender because he was born a champion. Yeah, plus plus as I said, he still has his title shot. Exactly. Because that rematch is all. Yes. I mean, yeah, I'm giving him more of a time than uh, Cena here. But. Yeah, he failed more of the as, as the champion from the get-go. No, he didn't see the uh, conference. He's way to a uh, a next generation of uh, no, star. No, 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 because he is in fast meets. Seventy Billy K going after one another. <laughs> Suplex. Oh, Asuka knees to the back! Stephanie decided to roll out of the thing for a second. Here comes Billy Kay after Stephanie. Asuka going for a suplex. Stephanie counters. And Stephanie with a backdrop! Arm drag from Billy Kay. Needs. Billy Kay's not backing down from the Billion Dollar Princess or the Empress of Tomorrow. Northern Light Suplex. Saw that earlier from Shelton Benjamin to Edge. Oscar trying to go after Stephanie. I mean, who wouldn't want to beat up, uh... Those fun bags. Oh, fun, uh... Yeah. Oscar swinging DDT! Yeah, he's the only did there. Fun. Get it? But yeah, that, that's not my man. No. That is for a friend to do stuff together. You is for you and me. Friend is for anywhere and anytime and all right here in the deep blue Ooh. ring. Yeah. Question, did those bags protect her from that fall? Uh, I don't think they're air. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, Asuka. I oh, Asuka was going for the vintage knees and Billy Kay intercepted it. Oh, man. Uh, Asuka lands on her feet. Swinging DDT. Asuka saw that one coming. Who knows what Asuka was going for there. And she, Stephanie went for a spear! Right and she failed. And Asuka! Oh! Pin! He got, got it too by the Billion Dollar Princess. Another swinging DDT. Stephanie's being totally targeted out here. Probably well, I wonder why. Yeah, no wonder why. She just knocked out the ref. Is she allowed to do that? Well, considering her father owns this company. Yeah. And she's one of the principal owners herself. Stephanie. Oh, here comes the ref. Stephanie barely connected. Oscar gonna take a breather. Get a little reprieve. Billy K counters neck breaker.
pile driver slam. Oh no. I don't even know if Bill Case finisher is. I don't know either. Obviously, it didn't matter. Oscar, German suplex, kick out. Uh, Oscar's trying to kick Billy Kay. Oh! Oscar armbar! Billy Kay breaks it up, saving the match. Spare from Stephanie! Spear! Again! Stephanie gonna go for the pedigree, maybe? Let's go for the pedigree! Oh. Spinning heel kick from Asuka! Stephanie saw the Asuka lock coming. Asuka gonna take some time to show off. Oscar's cocky. Ooh. I was wondering when she was actually going to land that for once. Because I remember just about every time she just... Stephanie, inside cradle! One! That's fast. Go for the pedigree oh. again! Connects! Billy came back in the ring though! Oh no! Drops her on the ropes! Billy Kay gonna pin the Billion Dollar Princess! One! Kick out at one. one. Jinx. Knock on one. Split! Ooh. Billy's busted. I think it's so stepping. Asuka trying to fight back. She's gonna pin Asuka? Two. I think Oscar would milk in that one. Who knows? Maybe. Well, I wouldn't put it past her. I mean, in real life, she's still undefeated. Technically speaking, yes. Yeah. Funny enough. Connects with that fist. No. Oh no. Stop oh. to the rest. Gonna pin her again. Kick out at none. Stephanie gonna take a reprieve. This gives Oscar more time to recover. Spare to the floor! Good thing there's no count outs. Stephanie not wasting any time with Asuka. Stephanie's the only woman left in the ring! She's... This is gonna come to bite Stephanie. Yes, this is. Another spear. Okay. 
DDT. Oscar. Oscar lock. It's locked in in the middle of the ring. This is, this is match over. Match over. And Oscar's the winner. It, I that actually I expected that. Here's your winner. I thought it was over with that arm bar. Yeah. Yeah, well, only lost one match here in SmackDown. That, that's true. One match. That was to the women's champion herself. I'm not sure. Yeah. yeah. Can she do that to the? She did that to two. Can she do that to five? It's a possibility. It's a possibility. Also taking a bow. That fan obviously looks Billy K. Put Billy K on TV more. Go for that fan. Billy K here to stay. This is a four-star match. What do we got next? We got a question of the day. Hey! Christian's back! Again! He's going off against Stankers in Boston. Um. I'm wondering if I have a question for the um, I don't have one. Yet. Yes. Yeah. I mean, Stone Cold beat Edge last week. Didn't he? Something like that. I'm trying to remember. Oh. Wow. This bout is the Paul. Introducing first, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing 212 pounds, Christian Stone Cold. You let Edge, you let Edge get away with it. Now you're gonna let Stone Cold get away with the beating up Edge's best friend. Stone Cold didn't even get announced yet. Christian didn't even make it halfway to the ring. Neckbreaker. This is just a beatdown. Just an assault. Ooh. That might have been a mistake on Stone Cold's part to attack Christian from behind. Another brawling. Christian looks for that swift elbow. It was all given to Christian a finger. Why though? What did what is provoking Stone Cold Steve Austin right now? Pretty much nothing. <laughs> he went for a Stone Cold stutter. Christian, kill switch! 
engage. He's going to take a five second pose for the benefit of those with flash photography. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh. So, Steve, no. Oh my god. You need to get security out there. You need a medical team out there. What was that? I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. What provoked Stone Cold? I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, it's main event time. All right. Well, yes, it's gonna be a steel cage match between Lita and Paige, and this is Elimination Chamber qualifier. But there's a little catch about the about this match. You'll find out during the introduction. Oh, yeah. Or if someone put two and two together, then yeah. Or if you got that post. Yeah. See Paige's return on Raw with her new group Absolution. Or PMS. Yeah. Paige, Mandy Rose, Sony Deville, PMS. Not the first time Paige's had a controversial uh Little group there. I mean, she, she had the submission so far. Put Charlotte and Becky for it. It's turned to the team PCB. The only way to win is by performing your finisher inside of the steel cage, and it is an elimination chamber qualifying match in the ring from Sanford, North Carolina. Wait, who's your money on? Yes, who's your money on? Eight. You have former slot. Probably the only way you think of it. <laughs> and she says, Scream. Her opponent from Norwich, England. Paige! How white she is. Who like like says it's skin color? She looks a little glossy, too. I mean, you got Woody back there. This is her house. Smackdown is Cage's house. Who knows how many people she's done with back there. So far. The past six weeks we've been doing Let the match begin. Here comes Paige, right out of the box. <laughs> Wasn't it on the show on the very first episode that debuted? Wait, what? On the very first episode what, that debuted. You did that? Oh yeah, you <laughs> did. Just stop. No, no, no. Good thing we're not a monetized channel. We'll never be monetized. Just putting that out there. Nightbreaker. Yeah. If somehow we ever get monetized. Then we have to stop using the music, guys. Obviously. What was that? Or or you just leave this alone and just have this like something we do for fun, I guess. Yeah, but it's fun. Yeah. It's fun recording. Yeah. Gives us content. Yeah. Considering um, Speaking of content, guys. Yeah. In three weeks, we should have more content coming. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I'm not going to spoil it. 
can't lie, I am personally excited for this myself. Spear! No. Lita used to date Edge. I know. I know. When she started becoming, you know, started calling her a swap. Yeah. Well, at least she isn't. Lita Karana! Uh, I'm just saying, at least she isn't thought of like that here. Says who? Says what, what, me. What happened to her phone? What happened to her phone? Her vintage, her vintage phone. She was always known for her thongs. Well, oh, uh, she just doesn't have any further, I guess. She's busty too. Paige gonna go for it. Alita Karana from the top rope? From Paige! Yeah. See, when it's a match with Lita, you can't call it Alita Karana. Well, you can't call it her Karana, you gotta call it Alita Karana. Fall away slam! Yeah. Who's your money on? I'm probably going against you here. No! Page win! That was the. Well, oh, that used to be a finish. That was the page turner. What? What's her finish in now? Uh, the rampage. Or the PTO. Okay then. The page tap out. So basically, for um, Rita? submission finishers, I'm assuming uh, automatic victory. Really? Yep. Well, I thought I thought I was had to have him pin out. Alright. As long as you hit as long as you lock it in, you win. Okay, okay. Oh she's going for another Alita! A Alita Tornado DDT. Or just a tornado DDT. Oh man. Uh, he is getting beaten up out here. Thank you. Of course, Lita has two finishes. She's got the Lita Salt and Twist of Fate. In the rampage! From off the middle rope! Oh, you got here is your winner, and the Elimination Chamber Qualifier, Hey! You know what? And I wasn't, and I wasn't controlling it. Yeah. Well, so much for the, the Trish Lita reunion. So much for that. Look, there's a possibility there's a second wild card. This is a wild card. Who knows? Maybe that could happen, or maybe we, maybe glamour will be added to this match. There might be some additional flair, some glamour. So well, there won't be flair, but yeah, not flair, not flair. But I mean, you could have flair. It'd be a talent exchange. I need to get yeah, something in return, but but just remember, she's under. NXT yeah. contract if it was for it. Yeah, which I'm telling you right now. Yes, no. <laughs> He's too afraid to lose his title. No, but, but I will guarantee you this. No question of the day. Who do you think might be the uh, wild card? Who's the wild card, guys? You know, you know Edge and Oscar are one of the two wild cards for each respective team. Yes. I mean, it would be pretty cool if they were in the same one, but that's not the okay. case here. Yeah, I don't even know why. Personally, I think I got. I, I know who I want to be that wild card. Who? Marie Bella. Marie Bella. She's not even in my roster. You can sign her in the next two weeks. Oh, maybe, maybe you ain't got a deal. Depends on what she wants, you know. Uh, all about the money. Okay. okay yes. All right. Now, what do you men. think? All right. For the male, who do you want? Who do I want as the male wild card? Yeah. Christian. Of course, he deserves it. Ed is in there. Team Canada. Oh, sure. Easy. I, I will tell you this right now. I'm not telling you who I want because then it would be giving it away at the. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here. He's got a bias. He's picking favorites. That's nepotism. That's favoritism. I, We're out, guys.